Hello, my name is Mark Schulz. I'm the Executive Director of the Prostate Cancer Research Institute and a practicing medical oncologist in Los Angeles. In May of 2012, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, a group of 14 volunteer healthcare professionals, published guidelines that recommend against PSA screening in healthy men and suggest that the potential risks outweigh the potential benefits. As a result, many primary care physicians are choosing not to screen their patients for prostate cancer. The task force's recommendation has generated a great deal of discussion, confusion, and controversy about PSA screening and its ability to detect early stage prostate cancer. The goal of this short video is to present straightforward facts about PSA testing and provide information so that men can make an informed decision about having a PSA test. The PSA is a simple blood test covered by insurance and traditionally ordered by a physician during an annual physical examination. It measures the concentration of prostate-specific antigen, a protein produced by prostate cancer cells. An abnormal PSA result can be caused by conditions such as enlargement of the prostate gland or by infection or inflammation in the prostate as well as by prostate cancer. Results from a PSA test in combination with a digital rectal exam can help doctors detect changes in the prostate and determine what if any further action may be needed. A study conducted among 180,000 men clearly demonstrates that PSA testing reduces prostate cancer mortality between 20 and 37 percent. However, abnormal PSA results may lead to excessive diagnostic testing and the potential for overtreating prostate cancer. The decision to conduct PSA screening should be made by men after an informed discussion with their physician. Now, a new survey reveals that only half of men believe their primary care physician is discussing the pros and cons of PSA testing with them, and many men are incorrectly assuming that they will automatically be screened for prostate cancer during their annual physical. I invite you to learn more about this important issue. You can find links to information and further resources at psadebate.com. Thank you very much.